Okay, Alex, I'm going to listen to your heart and lungs now. As a doctor in an emergency department, Sarah Denny has treated dozens of children who've had severe allergic reactions to food. I think I need a little more. As a mother, she's had to do the same. When her son Liam was a toddler, he had a sudden and life-threatening reaction to soy. We could hear our ambulance on our way. I ran out to the curb with Liam in my arms to wait for him, and as I looked down at him, he was just pale, unconscious, and lifeless. Moments before, Denny's husband injected their son with one of these. It's a dose of epinephrine, and in these situations, is the only thing that can save a child's life. The Denny's say they're lucky the incident happened at home where they had epinephrine, but that's not always the case. About 25% of children who have their first episode of a severe allergic reaction to a food it occurs inside the school setting. Dr. David Stukas is an allergist at Nationwide Children's Hospital and a strong supporter of the new law that will put more injectors into our schools. Until now, it was up to parents like Sarah Denny to take epinephrine injectors to their child's school. In an emergency, the school nurse could use them, but only to a child who brought in their own. The new law urges schools to keep extra injectors on hand for anyone who might need them. Food allergies have increased by about 50% in the last decade alone and currently approximately two to six percent of all children have some form of food allergy. And if you think about that, that's really about one to two children in every classroom in America on average. It's a growing danger Dr. Denny knows all too well, which is why she not only supports the new law, she lobbied for it in Ohio. Not only will it save lives, but I think that this will also raise awareness on food allergies and how dangerous and severe they really can be. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.